Now then, my friends, in today's vlog, boy, have I got a treat for you. Well, actually, no, it's a treat for me. I always say that. However, this time, it, it, it's not so much of a treat, really, because I'm in Castleford, uh, which is somewhere in the north of England, and I've just looked on the air, I thought, what is it famous for? I, I'm, I'm trying to find out. I mean, the reason I'm in Castleford, by the way, is I've dropped Sarah and uh, the kids off to a baby shower, and I said, don't worry, I'll find something to film while I'm here in Castleford. I was going to film in Leeds. I said, don't worry, I'm sure Castleford has got loads of things. I have found something, so I hope it's going to be all right. But first of all, what is Castleford famous for? Well, obviously I'm reading here, uh, the, the Tigers, the Castleford Tigers. Also, by the way, also, uh, Castleford, by the way, here, it says here, uh, is named in the top 10. It's in the top 10, my friends, of the worst places to live in England, uh, which is uh, which is great. Uh, so, uh, it, I mean, it doesn't look that bad so far. Um, we're going to head off to a place anyway today called Smoky Boys, uh, which is a barbecue and grill house. So looking forward to this because apparently they do fantastic burgers. So we're going to go and check out the burgers there. They've got like smoky brisket burgers, smoky barbecue, Moroccan lamb, uh, all sorts. So, southern, southern fried chicken as well. Literally lots and lots of stuff. Vegan burgers as well if you're vegan. Uh, lots and lots of stuff on there. So so Smoky Boys, that's where we're off to today in Castleford. Looking forward to this one, I think. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, don't forget, like, subscribe, and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Also, if you are from Castleford, um, what else is there around here that I could review? I did look for burgers. Um, I looked for lots of different places to eat. This came up number one and said this is fantastic. I think it gets four stars out of five on TripAdvisor, so that's not too bad. Anyway, I'm starving, so without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, so I've also figured out now, there's also a couple more things that Castleford is famous for as well. It's got a designer outlet village and also an indoor like snow kind of place called Escape. So it's all based around snow, sports activities, etc. So you can go indoor skiing, etc. And uh, things like that. In fact, I think my eldest daughter, Paige, uh, has actually been there and she said she had a fantastic, fantastic day out. Um, not far from Pontefract as well. Pontefract cake. Hmm. Actually, uh, in fact, I can see that's got to be Escape over there in the distance with the slope. Wouldn't mind going to that and actually doing a vlog on that. I'd really like to do that. Never been skiing before. Uh, has anybody been to Escape? If you have, let me know. What is it like? Comments down below. Right, super hungry. Come on. Right, so this is actually leading me to Escape. I'm guessing it's in this complex somewhere. Oh, we've got a Domino's there. Where are we? Where are we actually going? Hang on, try and find the place. There's Domino's. Come on, it's got to be around here somewhere. Come on, Smoky Boys. This place is absolutely massive and I can't find a parking space. It is huge. The amount of cars that are here is unbelievable. My word, it is so, so busy. Unbelievable. This is a Saturday, so I'm guessing that's why. But this place is huge. It's got to be with inside Escape. Escape, Escape. Come on, onwards. Right, come on. This is it, Escape. It is absolutely immense. Huge place. Even got a Cineworld. What is it? Cineworld 
4DX in there. It's massive. I just can't believe how busy it is. They've even got a Weatherspoons, Burger King, Evans site. They've got everything in here. Just got to find Smokey Boys. Come on, onwards. Right, so here we are, Smokey Boys. Barbecue and grill house. Let's go in, grab a burger, see what it's like, and mark it out of 10. Come on, onwards. This looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the menu. Got some cocktails, mocktails, gin and tonics. Nothing, nothing alcoholic for me today because I am driving, but I'm gonna go for one of the big burgers. Let's just take a look at this menu. Uh, the smoky bad boy the smoky please. bad boy burger what's the ss this is that sp spicy or something um, yes yeah so i think that does that one come with a jalapeno yeah yeah well we'll, yeah, go, yeah. we'll, we'll go for it then bit of extra zing on that one then okay and can i add a tomato to that as well please you can yeah toppings um yeah. it'll be a beef, uh, beef tomato is that okay yeah lovely thank you yeah uh and a uh what's your milkshakes like they're really good actually so we uh, so we have um you can have the original shakes which are the vanilla strawberry oh strawberry please strawberry not yeah a thank you yeah that'd be brilliant thank you uh and i think that's it just the water as well please yeah can, would you like a, i can get you a jug of table water is just that okay table fine, yeah no yeah. not a thank problem you, can just i get you anything eat. else uh just ketchup and mayo when it comes yes yeah, so oh so no it's, it's, does, does it come mayo. with fries um no so i need to order so, uh, would you like some fries as yes, well yes please so, Sweet potato fries. Sweet potato. Would you like those plain rosemary cheese, Cajun or chili con carne? Just plain, please. Just plain. Yeah. Yeah. Can brilliant. I get you anything else? No, that's fine. Thank you very much. So I've got a smoky bad boy burger. Yep. I've got add fresh tomato. I've yep. got an original strawberry shake, and I've got some sweet potato fries plain. And I'll bring you over some table water as well in a glass. So Sounds fantastic. Not Thank a problem. You very much. All I'll serve that order for you. Thank brilliant. you so much. Thank you very much. Looking forward to this. Right, looking forward to this. Just had a little chat there with the server, Andrew, really nice guy. He said, oh, are you filming? I said, uh, yeah, don't worry, I won't get you on it. He said, don't mind, so looking forward to this. Really looking forward to it. And I, I've got the, the taste for a bit of a spicy burger as well, so can't wait for this one. Oh yeah, got my taste buds going. I've got the water as well to cool down the fire of the jalapenos. <laughs> Right, so Andrew's just come over, he said it is going to be about a half an hour wait, it's really, really busy here today, obviously, it's a Saturday, uh, nothing else better to do at the moment, I'm waiting for Sarah and the children at the baby shower, so I've got time, it's quarter to three, uh, we'll see how long it takes when uh, the food actually arrives. See you guys in a minute. Right, so I've got my strawberry shake, here it is, looks good, nice and thick, let's just take a look at the consistency of this. Mm -hmm. 
Right, moment of truth, let's taste this. I'll tell you what, it's freezing in this. Man, that is a good shake, actually. Mm. Really nice. Oh, okay, leave me to it. Let's wait for the food. See you in a minute. Right, okay, here it is. So let's take a close look at this. Got the uh, sweet potato fries, got the burger. Check it out, got the jalapenos on there as well. Um, and the tomato. Take a closer look. Colourful, I've got to say. So here we go. Right, let's taste this thing. Whoa! Ha! There goes the jalapenos. Right, I'll eat this, then, wow, need some water, then come back to you. <laughs> it has got a kick to it. Oh, sweet potato fries as well. Right, dig into this and come back to you. Wow, that has got a kick. That has got a kick. Kick like a mule. Here we go, so I've got, I've got to say, the service here is great. Everybody's fantastic. We've got Andy, Andrew. Hello. And, and you are Chi Chi. What a lovely name. Thank you. Lovely name. We've got this lady over there. <laughs> What's your name? Natalie. Natalie, brilliant. Excellent. It was very spicy. It's got a bit of a kick to it, I have to say, with yeah, 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 But milkshake was nice. Really, really nice. Brilliant. Like the milkshake. You do a selection of milkshakes, yeah, don't you? Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Ones. Love that, absolutely superb. That was, yeah, spicy. Got a bit of a kick. My lips are still on fire. But <laughs> tell them to subscribe. Feel free to subscribe, guys. Drop the link below. There you go. There you go. Right, so the bill came to 1870, including an optional 10% gratuity, which I told him to take off, but I'm not a cheapskate. I have left him a tip <laughs> separately. Uh, so it comes to 17 pounds. And uh, there's the bill, there you go. And I'll see you guys outside in a minute when I mark it out of 10. Gotta say though, the service, first class. Brilliant, see you guys outside. Oh, right, back in the car, absolutely. Peeing it down out there, right. Oh dear, optional 10% service charge, as I men mentioned in there. We'll get out of that out of the way first. This seems to be the thing nowadays, all this optional service charge. Don't like it, never have liked it. The staff in there, first class, if you're watching, uh, especially Andrew. I know Andrew was the, the guy that served me the most, spot on. 
that guy really deserves a medal. He came over, the other people did as well. They all came over, everything all right, everything fine. He was spot on. That is what you want. Somebody who really cares about the job and cares about the customers that are in there. And um, you don't see a lot of that nowadays, I have to say. Um, so first class, and uh, I left them a separate tip uh, for themselves, uh, which was more than what the service charge was. So I just think that it should be, the people themselves should be rewarded themselves and not the actual place, because I don't know, will, will they get the, would they get the tip if, it was on, if I left the optional service charge? And a lot of these places are doing themselves out of, of money because um, that 10% service charge, as I say, took it off and I left more. Anyway, let's get down to business. The food itself, um, it didn't quite take half an hour to come. So I think the, they probably said the, the, the most amount of time and exaggerated it a little bit so I wasn't too disappointed. Came in about 15 minutes, which was absolutely fine. I was on my phone answering some messages. The burger itself, um, very colorful actually, <laughs> extremely colorful. Got a nice kick to it. I know some of you is gonna say, it probably wasn't done well enough for you. For me, uh, it was, um, I used to have my burgers cremated many years ago before I was in the States. Now um, I have them like that. It was very tasty, very nice. Um, if I was gonna mark the, I'll mark the burger and the fries separately. I'm gonna give the burger a, I'm gonna give the burger a, I think it could have had a slightly larger tomato on there, like a big grilled tomato, but I think he did tell me it was one of them kind of tomatoes, but I would go for a bigger tomato on there, like a massive, great tomato, big tomato. I'm gonna go for a, ooh, difficult this one. I'm gonna go, what do you think I'm gonna give it? Come on, quickly, pause the video and put the comments down below what you think it should be scored. I'm going to go for the burger 8. 8.1, 8 which is good, 8.1 is good. Um, I think if anything it could be slightly bigger. When it came I was a little bit, uh, okay, is that all there is on the plate? However, however, I will stop you there. Um, I, I am full, so but but I just expected it to be a bigger burger. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot bigger burger, but it was nice. Um, also, uh, the fries, sweet potato fries could have been done a little bit more, a little bit mushy for me. The sweet potato fries, so I'm gonna go seven for the sweet potato fries. Um, all round, though, I have to say, I enjoyed it. That place is absolutely amazing in there escape is it escape escape it's amazing you've got everything in there it's absolutely superb loved it so there you go smoky boys superb thought it was great well worth a visit especially for the staff thanks again i know you guys are watching you took the channel down um superb you guys deserve a medal and if your boss is watching you deserve a pay rise. <laughs> That's spot on. That's all from me today. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Oh, and the milkshake. We forgot the milkshake. The milkshake itself. I like the milkshake. I'm going to mark that separately. I'm going to go... I want to go nine for the milkshake. Really nice. Really nice. Yeah, spot on. Uh, so there you go, Smokey Boys in Xscape. Get yourself down, have a look, tell me what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe. It's easy. Just click on my picture on the right-hand side there. And also, check out my merchandise. Click on the little cartoon of me over there on the left.